And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about self-service. So we've done all these identity videos to help kind of give the basics of what is Identity 101. We've talked about authentication, authorization, federation, what holistically is identity and why it exists. And now we're going to talk about self-service. So Alan, what is self-service? So self-service is really, starts off with basic introductions. Yes. We said authentication is the process of tying data down here to an individual person. Mm -hmm. Well, somehow we've got to get data down here. And that's the initial introductions that need to happen. And so you've been to a website, you've been to somewhere where you have to register. You've never been there before, mm -hmm. right? That registration can be done a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. You can do it, yep. which is self-service, mm -hmm. or you could phone somebody and go through the phone and have them put it all into the system. Old school. Pretty old school, yeah. pretty slow, yeah. pretty expensive, right? So you want to be able to do it yourself. Yeah. And that's the basic process behind self-service. So. So just to pause, just so I follow the concept, like authentication, you're saying instead of having developers build registration and self-service capabilities in every single app, doing it individually, I have it set up once with my identity platform, the apps plug in and they just get access to all of the self-service capabilities. Absolutely. Developers don't have to worry about Don't have to care. worry about working with users and okay. managing users. Okay. So, so typically, you've probably seen this happen. You go to the login page. Mm -hmm. Think back to whatever it was, module two, when we were talking about authentication. Yes. It's asking you for your username and password. You don't have one. You've never been here before. I've not. And there's a button on the page that says register. Yep. You click on the register, and that's what we call self-service. OK. So then I can fill out the information, register. Make sure, make sure you ask to send marketing stuff. Yep. So the marketing little opt-in, opt-out capabilities. Opt-in, because there's good stuff in that. There is good stuff there. And then basically when I click register, it magically appears down in the identity store, so all these apps can leverage my identity data. Absolutely. So this information <coughs> pushes is down. now stored into the identity store so that we know who you are. OK. What if I forget who I am? What if I forget like my ID or password? Well, for I most like people. A, a memento. <laughs> I have no short-term memory. It's like memento. I can't hold on to it. The, I read a book about that this weekend. Yes. So most of those login pages have another link on it, mm -hmm. which is generally something like, I forgot my password, or mm -hmm. I don't know who I am, or I think I'm a hat. Mm -hmm. All of those take you to some kind of page that we're going to ask you some secret information that we think only you know. Mm -hmm. right? How that's done, again, much like authentication, it can change in all sorts of different situations. Now, it looks like there's there could be some time to authentication. Like here you have it asking things like dog's name or first car or kind of basic information that I might know about Secrets myself. Secrets that probably you only know. But couldn't it also tie into authentication where it asks for like a one-time password or something that I can use? If, if I know information about you, mm -hmm. right? Like for example, your mobile phone number. Yeah. Sure. I can say, well, let me work on this other way that I can connect to you, this other channel. Okay. and send you information on there that you can now come back to me and say, here's the code you sent me. See, it really is me. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually very helpful. Um, anything else we're missing on self-service, or does that pretty much... Uh, I think that basically does that pretty much capture it? That pretty much captures it. <laughs> captures it, brings up... There's a whole bunch of really interesting things around here, right? And some of the challenges that end up happening with this is that when you allow people to register, uh -huh. It's a really fun place for bad people to play. Yeah. So you might find yourselves getting hundreds of thousands of Donald Duck accounts. Uh -huh. So there's all sorts of things, possibly with authorization, that we may need to control. Are you actually a person, or are you just trying to create a new account? Okay. Right. So maybe we need to do some additional checking yeah. when you first register. Okay. So some magic that has to happen. Some to magic. Sure you are who you say. Absolutely. You are. Okay. Well. That pretty much wraps up self-service. Thank you, Alan. Very helpful. Shit.